Welcome to clickmyproject.com The project title is Supraventricular Tachycardia Classification in the 12 lead ECG using Atrial Waves Detection and a Clinically Based Tree Scheme The project abstract is The process begins with initial noise removal and QRS detection Ventricular features are extracted According to these features, an initial AEA wave search window is defined and a single AE wave is detected. Atrioventricular nodal re-entry tachycardia, atrioventricular re-entry tachycardia or sinus rhythm is performed in the framework of the clinically oriented decision tree. Average sensitivity of 83.21 percentage, average specificity of 95.80 percentage, and average accuracy of 93.29 percentage were achieved compared to the definite diagnosis. The project flow diagram is to measure the 12 lead ECG using atrial wave detection. We have to collect the data set. In the data sets are text or DAT files. On the data set we choose the one DAT file or signal. It is our cardiac signal. It is our input signal also. Next we have to remove the noise from that signal by using Gaussian noise. Next we have to detect the wave from the signal by using QRS detection. In that QRS detection to find the wave and heartbeat rate for the given input signal. Next we have to extract the feature from the measured waves and also find the atrial wave detection to find the wave and RR interval. Next, tree formation for ECG waves and classify the every passion details for sequentially to measure the ECG wave by using SVM classification. In SVM means support vector machine. Finally, we measure the performance analysis for the detected waves. The project source code file was run from the command window. In current folder shows that the many file we have to choose the main.m it is our source code file so we have to run the main.m file after our run, after run our source code file we have to choose the signal so in that there are many type of signals are there we have to choose any one of the signal the process will be going on so in command window shows the enter the sampling frequency of the signal so we have to give the sampling frequency for example 100 according to the frequency value the result will be shown in the command window it is the overall result of our process in figure 1 shows that the 12 lead ECG signal it is our input signal in X label shows that the time and Y label shows that the voltage in figure 2 shows that the filtering of ECG signal it is our filtering of our input signal in X label shows the time in seconds Available shows that the voltage in figure 3 shows that the filtering of our input image with different form it is our raw ECG signal after raw ECG signal we go to apply the low pass filter in that signal it is a low pass signal low pass filter to apply it is the high pass filter to apply the signal it is the filter with the derivative filter it is the average sampling length of noise removal rate it is the adaptive threshold of our red signal level in figure 4 shows that the QRS wave detection to apply the QRS on filtered signal it is the QRS on MVI signal and noise removal rate and apply the threshold it is the pulse strain of our found QRS on ECG signal 
In X label shows the time and Y label shows that the voltage. In figure 5 shows that the P detection of our input signal. In that input signal it is the P wave detection. In figure 6 shows that the maximum beat rate of our ECG signal. It is our maximum hot beat rate. In figure 7 shows that the accuracy graph. When compared to existing method the proposed method is high. In X label shows the classification. In Y label shows the, the accuracy. According to the accuracy graph the values are shown in the table. In proposed method is 90 and existing method is 62. In figure 9 shows that the sensitivity graph when compared to existing method the proposed method sensitivity level is high. In X label shows that the classification and Y label shows that the sensitivity. According to that graph the sensitivity level is shown on table. Proposed method is high 100 percentage and existing method is 74. In figure 11 shows that the specificity graph when compared to existing method the proposed method is high. X label shows that the classification and Y label shows that the specificity. According to that graph the specificity values are shown in the table. In proposed method is 100 and existing method is 55. In command window shows that the sampling frequency and maximum beat rate level are shown in the command window. Result also shown when the signals are normal or abnormal it is also shown in the workspace and accuracy, sensitivity and specificity values also shown in the command window. So the project demo was completed. Thanks to watching this video.